Hello, my name is Tarang Malhotra and I am here to explain you an interesting physics principle. Take a look at these two shots as I try to explain this physics principle with the help of tennis. I'll play them twice for you. Isn't it weird how I'm hitting both shots with equal magnitude and height but only the first one travels much farther? This happened because I applied heavy topspin on the second shot which allowed it to dip inside the court. The first shot was flat and flew outside the court. Now, you must be wondering how topspin really works. Well, in order to understand that, you'll first need to learn Bernoulli's principle. Daniel Bernoulli was a Swiss mathematician and physicist. He proved through an equation that the sum of the kinetic, potential and pressure energies of a fluid is a constant. However, this statement stands true only when the fluid has an incompressible flow, a constant density and there's no friction. Over here, I have two pipes joined together, pipe 1 and pipe 2. As you can see, pipe 1 is slightly thicker than pipe 2. Now suppose water flows through pipe 1. As it enters pipe 2, the flow of the water will speed up in order to maintain a constant volume flow rate, thus increasing the water's kinetic energy. According to Bernoulli's principle, increasing kinetic energy is accompanied with decrease in potential or pressure energies as the sum of all three energies is constant. Since both pipes are at the same height, the potential energy remains the same. Therefore, the pressure of the fluid is reduced when the water enters pipe 2. Now that pipes 1 and 2 are at different heights above the ground, both the pressure and potential energies will decrease as the kinetic energy of the fluid drastically increases. Now let's go back to topspin, where the ball spins in an anti-clockwise direction. In this case, the direction of the airflow is opposite to that of the motion of the ball. However, the direction of the air flowing at D, E and F and the direction of the spin experienced by the ball are the same. Therefore, the spin of the ball causes this air to flow faster, that is, it increases its velocity. On the other hand, the direction of the spin of the ball is opposite to the direction of the air flowing at A, B and C. Therefore, the air flows faster at D, E and F than it does at A, B and C. Due to this, a low pressure region is formed below the ball and hence the ball moves downwards. This is how a topspin shot will dip inside the court while a flat shot will soar away. Bernoulli's principle is also applied to the flight of airplanes. The wings of an airplane are made curved such that the velocity of air is higher above the wings and lower below the wings. This creates a high pressure region below the wings and a low pressure region above the wings. This results in the movement of the plane towards the low pressure region, enabling it to fly. It truly is fascinating how Bernoulli's principle can be applied to numerous technologies and activities in our daily life. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you.